Hey everybody, I just thought I'd make a quick little video about uh, this project here. I'm sure it looks like World War III right now, uh, but I want you to understand a little bit about what I'm doing. You understand that as nature progresses and it goes from a, a pasture to a bit of a thicket area to a pine forest to a hardwood forest, there's all these different stages involved. And what we're dealing with here is a bit of a mixture where we had uh, some hardwood and some softwood, but we've also got a lot of thicket, a lot of vines and thorns that are just taking over the area. And what we want to do is open this area up a good bit to pasturing. We're going to keep these bigger trees that you see that are still standing behind me, but the smaller trees, like the pile you see in front and behind me, are going to go. And we hope to bring in a bit of light and be able to put down perennial pasture here that is going to kick, uh, keep back the, the thorny vegetation, keep back the, the briars and the vines. And then from there, once we can pasture this well, we can look into putting in some uh, more valuable timber as well. Uh, and when I say timber, I just mean trees. I'm not talking about timber for wood, uh, some, some producing trees, anything. Uh, most of these or some of these behind me are oaks and hickories. So they're gonna be good for our, our pigs that will pasture around here. Uh, but we've also got tulip poplars and uh, other flower producers that are good for our bees. So uh, what you see may not look like anything great, but it's good for us and we want to continue moving that forward. So this is winter for us. It's a perfect time to come in here when most of this undergrowth has died back and be able to cut it down and process it out. Uh, we're taking a process or going about it this a way I've never done before. Normally I'm pretty anal about it and I want to cut down a tree and limb it up and put it through a chipper and by the end of the day you can't hardly tell I was in the area. Now I'm just trying to get the work done and we'll come back and do each different step in a different phase. So step one is just get the trees on the ground. Step two will be the limbing. Step three will be the chipping and then we can spread the chips or use the chips where we want from there. So rather than do everything for one tree in one day, we'll do all of uh, a particular part of the phase and then move on to the next one. And it's hard for me because I don't like seeing all this mess laying out here, but it certainly is getting a lot more progress done in one day. And it saves me from having to fuss with the uh, chipper every single day and things like that. So that's what you're looking at. We'll bring you in and show you this project uh, a couple times. It's not really too much to look at, just a lot of chainsawing. So. Uh, stay tuned. I hope you all are having a, a wonderful time. Thank you for watching, and as always, we'll see you next time.